Hello there on day four. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs a Toledo LLC celebrating year number 17 of the model computer training more that comes to you. More information can be found at yourcomputerneeds.net. If you have any questions, click on the contact link of yourcomputerneeds.net. It is day four as far as shopping for today's devices. I want to go a different route. I want to go a different direction today for day four. I want to cover three things if you are considering automation, use of AI, artificial intelligence for sure. Don't worry, that'll be another series where I go through all the technical terms and jargon and this, that, and the other. No, I'm keeping this as simple as possible. I got great news about the masterclass also. I'll be mentioning that toward the end. I'm talking about after you purchase your device, after you've gotten your warranty and all of that, Consider these three items as far as automation or AI, artificial intelligence. Don't worry, I'm not going to get into all the technicalities and all of that. That's a whole nother series, a long ways off, so don't worry. I'm keeping this as simple as possible. Don't forget as well to check out the other three days. The links will be in the description in case you missed the first three days. Consider automation because number one, you need to. As a fellow entrepreneur, as a fellow freelancer, as a fellow independent contractor, as a fellow solopreneur, as a fellow small business owner, as a fellow side gig enthusiast, as a fellow person who does work mainly remotely, as far as the pandemic is concerned, this was a part of why many businesses had to pivot. There were many reasons, but having to incorporate automation was one of the main reasons. Were there other businesses, businesses in other industries, that already had automation implemented. Yes, that was the case. But many had not, and many had to. Many also had to, if they already had it, expand on it because it was necessary to be 100% virtual when the pandemic came about in order for your business to stay on top of mind, in order to thrive as much as possible, in order to survive all of the unknowns, things as far as automation included, let's say on your social media, where there are tools available to click this box, click this area, click here, click there, to automatically send out promotions, advertisements on from there? Did you use a third party online site or software to set everything up and continuing on? Functioning as a small business, especially nowadays, there is as much as possible the return of everything before the pandemic. At the same time, there's hybrid or continuing virtually. Hybrid simply on site and online, or a time frame on site and a time frame online. Many businesses these days have it where any of them that have employees or contract workers. There are maybe set days or set hours. They are at the site 
still following COVID-19 rules, regulations, and stipulations, and then particular times of the day or particular days of the week in which they are remote. So is there automation of any task, automation of any functionalities, any automation of how you carry out what needs to be done? Is that in place? If you want your business to survive, if you want your business to progress, and if you want your business to profit. Let me go on with suggestion number two. Will AI be used? Will there be chatbots? The use of setting up the software where you had put the information you would like to appear automatically, anybody comes to your website, as an example. Will that be used? Will that be incorporated? Will that be implemented? Will, will there, I should say, be the necessary training for that? Or I'll let that be A. Or B, are you going to hire someone or contract out someone to do this for you? You're going to have to consider the cost, whether it will be you yourself or whoever will be designated to do this as part of your organization. I do say business, but I need to also include different entities. I'll include business. I'll include corporations. I'll include nonprofit. There could be those of faith-based organizations that are considering it. Now I'll need to consider academia. Industry-wise, examples, everything from architecture to manufacturing, everything from the computers and technology industry, of course, everything from social service to agriculture in all the industries that are part of what you do, part of your work, part of your business, part of, in some instances, your hobby. If you're thinking about turning your hobby into a business, any scenario that I name or did not name. Finally, considering automation, I earlier said, it needs to be incorporated as soon as possible. However, there are those who aren't ready to do so yet. That's fine. That's understandable. What steps are you going to take to prepare? How are you going to seek out the assistance that you need? Will you implement? If not, why? If not, now when? Involving all this will have to be research, especially if you don't know. And that's why I said that's okay. It's good to start the process of finding out what you need, what you don't need, what will work for you, what will not work for you, what's available, anything that's a cost, anything that's possibly a free trial, anything that's a demo, anything that will help you make the necessary decision. When it boils down to everything, if you don't remember anything else that I've said, let me boil everything I've just mentioned down and summarize it to a question. The state of your entity at this time, your business, your contracting out of whatever, your outsourcing of whatever, your corporation, your nonprofit, your academia, your faith-based organization, whatever the entity it is. You want to progress, to thrive, and to survive. 
yes or no. I thank you for tuning in. Please make sure you share this video. Now, let me mention the other link in the description. That is the link to register for the first masterclass from Your Computer Needs of Toledo LLC. Yay! It will be May 7th, 2022 at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. After registration, you'll get information as far as the Zoom link. All I ask is one hour of your time. As a fellow entrepreneur, I know how things and how busy things can get. Believe me, yes, I do. However, I want to make sure that this free event is available so that you will need knowledge and have knowledge of the tips, have knowledge of the tricks, and have knowledge of the techniques that, broken down simply, will help you as far as maintaining your devices. Again, May 7th, 2022, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs of Toledo LLC, celebrating year number 17 of computer training more that comes to you. Get ready tomorrow for day five. Bye-bye.